What's good, YouTube? It's kind of looped out here. Hey, happy day, woo! And it's been quite a while since I've made a serious video because I am now currently in Canada, uh, hanging out with my boyfriend and whatnot. But I'm not gonna get into all of that stuff. Maybe I'll make a separate update video for that. Currently, I'm waiting on my laptop to get in, which it should be in next week. So cool! But I am here actually bringing you guys my very first United Championship League video, my battle versus the King Nappy, the coach of the Tucson Terrakions. And uh, I was very, very excited and scared of this battle because despite what Nappy says, he actually has a very decent draft. Um, for this battle, I decided to go with Dust Noir. I went with Lipard, Galvantula, Salamence, Latios, and Seismitoad. He went with his Rotom Heat, Gardevoir, his Lucario, Gastrodon, and his Gengar, as well as Flygon. Upon looking at our teams, I wasn't really all that worried here. And also, for the people looking for live commentary, currently it's it's um, almost 3 a.m. for me. And um, this apartment that I'm in right now is not very soundproof, so you'll pretty much hear any cars that go past. So I don't know about doing live commentary for these. Maybe I will whenever my laptop gets here and I use my own microphone. But for now, this is what I got. Um, back to the whole... Analyzing the team, I was looking and I was like, okay, well, Gastrodon's gonna be one of his walls, and Rotom Heat, I believe, should be one of his other walls. Uh, is he gonna set up any rocks? Is he gonna set up any hazards? One thing about his team, actually, his entire draft, is that he doesn't really have a lot of Pokemon available to set up hazards, as well as he doesn't have any rapid spinners. In fact, he only has two Pokemon on his entire draft for Defog, one of them being Flygon and the other being Swallow, which he didn't take. Regardless, I was still pretty confident uh, seeing this team here, and uh, I hope that you guys will enjoy the nicknames, because one thing about Nappy is he absolutely hates the move Sucker Punch. So all of my Pokemon are Sucker Punch related, starting off with Sucker Punch the Dust Noir. This was a very favorable matchup for me, for him starting out with his Gengar, because my Dust Noir here is actually my special wall, and I know that he can take any hits. He decides to go in to his Gastrodon, and I just get just a very minimal amount of damage off with Shadow Sneak, because Gastrodon is able to take hits like a freaking monster. Look at that face, he is so freaking adorable. Knowing that I'll outspeed, I go for a Taunt, not letting him use any status moves. In this case, he is unable to use his toxic once again working out quite well for me this dust noir is honestly one of my favorites out of the entire team this week at least <laughs> so then i switch out into my seismitoad predicting maybe he would for whatever reason go for a skull trying to get the burn on my dust noir but instead he goes for an ice beam and as you can see my seismitoad takes it quite well he ends up switching, which gives me a chance to get a free knockoff here on his Rotom, which is running leftovers. Did a fair amount of damage there. No more leftovers for this Rotom Heat. I go out into my Latias, kind of just wondering, hey, is he going to go for Will-O-Wisp? And you know what? He does do it. So since my Latias isn't going to be doing any physical attacks here, I'm like, alright, I can handle that. I am not really worried about it. You guys might be wondering, why didn't you take the Heatran? After doing a lot of analysis, I figured that he would severely plan for the Heatran, so I decided not to take it. He ends up Volt Switching on his Rotom, and he goes straight out into Titania, which is his Gardevoir. There's not really much on my Latias that I can do right now, because my Latias is actually my physical wall. And uh, it's running like Defog, Surf for his ground types had he had brought any outside of like Flygon. I know he had Crocodile on his draft, as well as the Rotom Heat. So I switch back out into my special wall, Dust Noir. Now the big thing about Dust Noir, for those who may not understand, he has amazing defenses. And he actually has a pretty decent attack stat. But what makes Dust Noir not so great is his low HP. He has a base 50, I believe, HP stat. This Gardevoir scared me. Uh, I was not expecting the substitute. I thought that that was a fantastic play on his part. And that hyper, hyper voice, excuse me, did a massive amount of damage, even though I am a physical, or excuse me, a special wall here. <laughs> I am a special wall going on. So my thing is, I figured someone's going to have to take a hyper voice. Do I want to go ahead and lose my Dust Noir? I decide to give him up at the expense of breaking Gardevoir substitute. And my Tailwind went down there, so now I go into my Lipard. This Lipard is specifically meant to Oko, his Mega Gardevoir. 
Uh, we do have gunk shot on it. <laughs> nice to always see the trash can. It cracks me up every time. But I decided I want to go ahead and save it. I did a little bit of damage to that Rotom there. And I switched back into my Latias. Knowing that this Rotom's not going to be able to do a crazy amount to it. He automatically swaps into his Gastrodon. Which I'm not going to be able to do crap to. But you know what? That's alright with me. Because we're just going to have to... Try to predict him and, you know, do some switches, do some work. He automatically switches back out here and he goes back into his Gardevoir. Um, now for this, I was like, well, Gastron can't really do anything to me. He can go for an Ice Beam if he wants, but I might as well go ahead and get off a free Toxic. So that lands on the Gardevoir, no problem. No problem there, which is always nice to get a free Toxic up like that. And as of right now, you know what? I was feeling pretty confident and pretty good standing. Yes, I did lose the first Pokemon on the Tulsa Talonflame side. And I figured I'm going to have to just lose another Pokemon here. So I give up my Latias. Uh, I do have a few Pokemon that can take care of his Gardevoir. The number one thing is actually my... My uh, Lipard, I almost called it a Purloin, but at the same time, this Salamence can wreck his Gardevoir. <laughs> this Salamence was specifically built to take out a few Mons on his team. As you can see there, I do run Shadow Claw, I get the critical hit, take out his Rotom Heat there. And unfortunately, I'm not Moxie. I didn't bring a Moxie one because just in case he would bring his Crocodile and run an Intimidate. The thing that I mess up the most on is this icy wind right here. I have not really been battling for quite some time and I was not expecting the icy wind, especially from Nappy. That's just because I've known him for years and I've never seen him run icy wind on a Gengar. Uh, so that really messed me up right there, losing my Salamence because my Salamence is actually able to do a fair amount to his team. So he took out my Salamence there. I go back into my live part, get the taunt off. His Gastrodon can't really do too much, uh, so it's just pretty much stuck using Ice Beam or whatever it is that it may have as well. He withdraws, goes back into his Gardevoir, and I'm like, alright, well, it's fine, it's almost dead. My Seismitoad has an Assault Vest, and it has a few special defense investments. So it was able to take that Hyper Voice quite well. I go for an Earthquake, take down his Mega Gardevoir. Unfortunately for me though, my Seismitoad is in a bit of a sticky situation. He goes into his Flygon and I'm sitting here wondering, is this going to be a Choice Banded Flygon, a Life Orb, Leftovers, what is it going to be? So obviously it wasn't Life Orb or anything because it didn't take the damage there. Um, but just in case it was Choice Banded, which was sort of something I was guessing, I went ahead and went for a Torment, hoping for the best. Unfortunately for me, it was not Choice Banded, as I found out using Knock Off and getting that critical hit there, it had leftover, so I'm guessing is a little bit more bulky. Uh, it does take out my Lipard here. Things are looking quite grim for me, but the, the biggest thing that I was regretting was leaving leaving my Salamence in against the Gengar. Now, had he had gone for a Dazzling Gleam, I actually had a Roselli Berry, which would have weakened that. Uh, what I should have run, which was something I originally wanted to run, was the Yachi Berry, which weakens an Ice-type attack, and Icy Wind would not have O-Code there. I am into my last Pokemon, my Galvantula here, who is Choice Specs rather than Focus Sash, and there's you know a reason for that as well. I had to bait on several different items to try to catch people off guard there, and I usually do not run Specs Galvantula, but based around his team, I had been speaking with a few of my friends, and I'd like to actually thank them. You know, I had Cyclone, and all their links will be in the description. I had Cyclone, my friend V Sing HB, I had your boy Grids, Firefly, Akiri. I also had the Ace Arcanine who helped hook me up with my Mons this week because I don't have my own ginning tools here in Canada. Uh, also, let's see who I know that there's more people. Demon OJM. There's other people and I don't know. I can't remember all the names right now because it's like 3 a.m. But if I can think of everyone, I'll have them all linked in the description. Sorry if I missed you. And I uh, had tons of fun with this battle. And although it is week one, keep keep in mind it is just week one. Um, I have a little bit more feel for, I guess, like starting off UCL week one. I really regret not running the Yachi Berry. I think that the Icy Wind was a complete and utter game changer. And I think had Salamence still been alive, 
I think that we would have had a completely different turnout. Outside of that, though, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give this video a like. I hope that you will all continue to support the Tulsa Talon Flames. Make sure to also support the Tucson Terrakions in this amazing Wi-Fi battle. Check out the King Nappy. His link will be in the description. Thank you all so much for all of your amazing love and support, and uh, I will see you all in the next video. Also, I will be battling, I believe it's the Long Island Reggie Rockies next week, so I'm really looking forward to that, and I hope you guys are too! I love you guys! Bye!